Hello, I'm Dr. Tsai, the acupuncturist and herbalist, of course the artist. So today I'm still going to go create more arts, arts medicine. Of course we use a different way to do it. Try to put some color first and uh, put some uh, what's that? glares and uh, color, more glares and more color alright and some color so some white oh that's pretty interesting already so before I do I'm going to uh, okay, no. so we need to shake a little bit oh that's good so I have all this color, so of course I'm still going to blindfold it, and uh, today I'm going to use a marker to do it, and the last time I tried a different way, and uh, so today I'm going to use marker to do it. So let me blindfold it to see how the arts work come out, and of course I'm still going to make a face. So, and uh, try to use this one. This, uh, as you know, this is Chinese herbs, as they call rich. And uh, I find this very useful to make art. Okay. All right. I think I have enough for that. And uh, then we use the marker, and uh, of course I'm going to make a face, as you know. And, uh, make a face, and then we'll put some ear inside here, and face, and the other ear, put that aside, and then we'll put some eyes, and uh, one eyes. And uh, then we we'll put the mouth first, and then um, make some teeth, and make a mouth. And so just a uh, more face, do one more time, face. And uh, then put some eyes again. And, uh, okay, I think I have enough for, for today. Let me see one more time. Okay. And I do one more time on the eyes. Alright, I have enough for today. Let me see what they look like. Alright. Oh, believe it or not, this is pretty interesting. Uh, of course, I go this way, so I have uh, a lot of liquids, so they don't drip. So they become. Uh, pretty interesting this way to create this art and uh, see arts so I'm going to talk about a little bit arts is not necessary like uh, you you make some paintings and hang down the pictures so they are very powerful so not only just uh, for the artist of course the artists so they help them physically mentally and spiritually so the process so for me I enjoy a lot so I don't something I don't know, I expect it, so they happen. So this work, so you have a lot of line, move, and uh, I expect this, uh, a lot of surprise. So that's worthy for the artist. Of course, then the viewer, the collectors who collect the art, so you find they say some paintings speak to you. So because of why they speak to you? Because they match with your physical, mental, and spiritual condition. So that's why it's very important to choose the right pendants for you. So this pendant, I just finished it. So obviously we have a lot of line, but you cannot see a lot of line because they mix together a little bit. So but it's very interesting. I hope you enjoy the art. So the other things I'm gonna talk about the pendants. Last time, this is the pendants I, I created last time. So uh, I cannot show you this one. I have to be dry. Then we hang in here. So this one, see, you can see they have uh, eyes, and I uh, put a face, 
and uh, have uh, hair. And actually, this one I didn't do hairs, believe it or not. So they have uh, some hairs, eyes, and I uh, do the mouths. And uh, some they email to me. They say look like um, uh, monkeys. Yeah, of course. Yeah, monkeys is uh, very close to human, and uh, they looks like. But of course, see. See, you have to look so very clear, all those things. You can take a photograph. That's not what we really want. We don't want to have, we want to the, the art work, for me, is more in between. So you know it's there, or you know it's not. So that is what I try to achieve. I don't want to know exactly there, or completely disappear. So that's why I'm, my art is more, you can see, they're always in between. So thank you for watching. I hope you understand a little bit more, and I really appreciate and enjoy my artwork. Thank you.